Hey, this is Brock Lemire's Embedded Systems Design. We're looking at the integrated uh, inner integrated circuit bus or the I squared C peripheral on the MSP430. And in this video, we're going to look at how to make the connection between the launchpad board and our uh, real time clock slave that we'll be experimenting with, and also how to make a simple probe so that we can connect the logic analyzer. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to always be using uh, the B0 peripheral. Uh, just because it's easy to get to. Um, the So port 1 bit 2, remember, is data. Port 1 bit 3 is, is clock. So when we change the port function select registers uh, from the port functionality over to I squared C, this is where they come out. Um, we can also provide power to the real-time clock from the board. So this launchpad board actually has 3.3 volts and 5 volts available to us. And we're gonna pluck off 3.3 volts and ground from right here. And we'll, yeah, so we need to connect power and ground and then the two lines, and then we should be able to connect to it. So the only issue though, is that we're gonna be doing this with uh, female jumper wires. And when we plug those female jumper wires in, uh, there's nowhere to connect our logic analyzer measurement. <laughs> because we wanna not only communicate back and forth with the slave, we want to watch it with a logic analyzer. And so, Here's what we got to do. We got to figure out a way to make the connection and then also do a logic analyzer connection. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, the, the pins we're going to be, or the wires that we use are just these little simple uh, prototyping wires that are female to female. So if I go out to a company called DigiKey, this is like the, the biggest electronics distributor there is. And if you just go into like uh, prototyping, fabrication products, jumper wires, you're going to see all these different uh, products and you can see they have wires that have like the 10th inch header pin on each end. Uh, then you can find some that are female to female and they come in packs. And so, uh, you know, these are very common. If you don't have some, grab some. If you're taking the class from me, uh, a class from me, I'll, I'll give you some of these to, to play with. And so and that's what they kind of look like. And they're, they're meant to plug directly onto the 10th inch header pins that you see on all these little uh, embedded systems. OK, so here is my setup. Um, I've got the MSP430 right here. I've got the Adafruit real-time clock right here, the PCF8523. And I've got my logic analyzer uh, connections from the analog discovery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the connection. Let's, let's connect them up first. Okay, so first of, first of all, if you look at the back of this, you're going to see there's pins, but there's no labels, of course. <laughs> so you got to kind of remember what they are. So it, it starts with ground, VCC, data. Uh, clock. So it goes ground, VCC, data clock. So when I flip this over, you know, it kind of looks like this. It's like ground, data, VCC, clock. So let's start with ground. I'm going to grab ground right over here uh, on this little guy, and it'll go to ground here. And I'm going to do power. Remember, you got to use 3.3 and not 5 volts on this, even though 5 will work. But if you use 5, it won't. The logic level from the uh, computer or from the launchpad board. Okay, so then this is power. And now let's grab port one bit two is data. So then the next one is data. So you got data right there, you got data right here. And then you got uh, clock, which is the next one. And then finally clock goes to here, which is right there. So then if you check that, I want to make sure that port one bit three is clock. And I want to make sure that I got it. So I got clock, data, VCC, ground. So there we go. Clock, data, VCC, ground. Okay, so there you are. All right, so that's cool. Now the problem is I got channels zero and one. I want to make a logic analyzer connection to this. And I got no way to plug into this because these logic analyzer <laughs> connections are female uh, receptacles also. So it's like, what am I going to do? Well, here's a little uh, easy way to do this. So go ahead and grab another one of these jumper wires that you have, and go. Ahead, I'm going to I'm going to cut this directly in half. And so this, hopefully, you can see this. Um, so I'm going to cut this in half, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off about a little over a quarter of an inch, and go ahead and strip that off. And so now you got that little guy with that exposed. And then we'll do the next one. So 
If I do this, okay, so I got that. So now where I'm sitting here is I've got these two, I've got these two wires with their leads exposed. And the reason I did that was because I'm going to actually plug them into one of these. So here's what I can do. Go ahead and twist, twist the wires because they're, they're actually multiple wires on there. Uh, and so you go ahead and twist them to make them a little bit stronger. And what I want to do is I'm going to plug them in along with the data and clock lines. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take data off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this directly in here and then go ahead and bend it. Okay. And now when you bend it, it's in, it's in the receptacle and now plug it back on to the pin. And when I do that, it smashes that wire in with the connector of uh, the connector and the pin on the real time clock. And I have a connection point to that wire. It's like, oh, okay, so now I have an access point. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the next one over, which is data, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna poke that. If it doesn't, if it's not strong enough, just, uh... okay, so I do that. Whoop. Holy moly. All right, there we go, and then bend it over, okay? Now I gotta hold it while I plug it in. So I go over here, and here we go. I should have done inside one first. Okay, all right, so cool. So now I got it, and so I have these things. You gotta make sure that they don't touch each other, but now if you can, Try to put this in the light a little bit. So anyway, you got this. And so now you just gotta remember, it's like, okay, so which one's on the outside? The last one down is uh, clock. So now, now we gotta make a connection to the logic analyzer channel zero and one. So I wanna put clock on zero. And so here comes clock. And now look at this. It's like, oh man, <laughs> I got another female to female. How am I gonna handle that? Well, it turns out that uh, the analog discovery gives you these header pins. And what you can do is you can cut them apart if just uh, just by cutting them down, and you can create individual ones, or you can create a twofer if you want to keep it straight or keep it more organized. And so what I'm going to do, let's use the let's use the twofer. So here's going to be the clock connection, and so the clock is on the end right here, and so I'll plug that in right there, and then now I have the connection to the to the logic analyzer, and then let me grab channel one of the logic analyzer and plug that into the other channel. And then I'll grab my little probe there and I'll do that. Okay, so now you just gotta make sure that the wires that are exposed down here aren't touching each other. And so you just kinda gotta pull them apart. And as soon as you, if you, as soon as you get it working, uh, don't change the setup. <laughs> so once you have it perfect uh, and nothing shorted out, then you're good to go and use this setup for the rest of it. So let's verify our connection here. So I've got the outer one, the most, the one on the furthest is coming over to port one bit three, which is the clock of the I squared C B zero peripheral. And it also then goes to this guy right here, which is channel zero of the analog discovery. Okay, and then the next one down is the purple guy and it is data. And then it is gonna go over to port one bit two, which is data. It also is cut off using our little probe and it goes over to port uh, channel one of the analog discovery, which is logic analyzer channel one, cool. And then it goes power and ground and I got power on red, come over here to 3.3 and I got uh, ground coming over here. And so there we go. So now what this is gonna allow us to do is when we write a program, we're gonna be able to send, you know, the, the MCU will be the master and the, the real-time clock will be the slave. And when we send the packets back and forth, the logic analyzer will passively watch what's happening and we can verify that it's actually working, number one, but we can actually see the data and the slave address go by. Okay, so that's gonna be the connection that we use going forward and we are now ready to write a program. All right, as always, remember, support my channel by subscribing and goodbye.